Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about C++ and the backend. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, is C++ useful for backend work in any shape or form? Why and why not? So the short answer is because it's too low level and nobody uses it for web work, pretty much. Now, the reason why I state this is very simple. The intention of C++ was basically to allow a, well, it's not a superset of C, like because C's origin, like if we go back all the way to C, C was originally designed for system levels development to do low level computations and actually build up platforms. C++ is, the next, is an attempt to be a next iteration of that. So it's not a complete superset. It's not like JavaScript and say TypeScript, but it's very, very close. It was not designed to be a web solution. There are so, so, so many luxuries, quote unquote, and some people will probably call it fluff, depending on how hardcore you are into system levels development. But there are so many things that C++ lacks in terms of convenience, if you will, when you're doing web work. And the community itself, although there are absolutely libraries that will allow you to make a web server in C++, and there are JSON parsing libraries, and there are all these things that you can absolutely put into it. And if you really, really, really want to, you can absolutely build a web server and have it work probably just as flawlessly as other solutions out there. But the amount of investment that you will have to make in order to make that happen and the likelihood of you getting something wrong is much higher in C++ in, than it is in other web-oriented languages that have pretty much been designed for that sort of work. It's it's the best analogy I can give you is that you're, you're asking if you can take a hammer and make it into a saw or a screwdriver or something. I mean, sure, you can do it, but I don't like there. This to me sounds more like an emotional thing, dude. This is the emotions talking. I th my guess is based on the way that you uh, pose the question. You really like C++ and you want to justify to yourself using it for server side work and not just system this program because you really want to learn it. And this is the thing I'm telling you, dude. You have to let go of that if you want to be a professional. You have two choices as a professional programmer. Either you just go die hard in on a language and you find work that is well tailored to that, sort, that language. In other words, your language is going to dictate your place of work and the work that you do. The other thing that you can do is that you can be flexible. You can, you can just acknowledge within yourself that some languages are not used for the sort of work that I want to do. That doesn't mean that you don't have to like, that you, that you don't like it. You can still think that C++ is the greatest thing in the world and keep it around, either, you know, do it in your spare time or something like that, but don't try to shoehorn in a solution that fits the thing that you want to do for professional reasons into your favorite language. You see, there is a very good reason to as to why you have never ever heard me heard me on this channel say that I think that every beginner should learn Rust. I really like Rust. I think it's a great language. I think it has buckets and buckets and buckets of potential. It, in my world, it, the, the sky is the limit. And I really, really play, pay close attention as much as I can to what's going on in that community. And honestly, the only thing that I don't like about Rust is that I feel myself like I don't have enough projects that I can build in Rust today. That like I want to, I want it to be twenty years in the into the future and see where it would be. That's my only, the only thing I don't like about it. But I also am very aware of that this is not the same opinion that everybody in the industry has. The most of the industry are using Java, C Sharp, Python, PHP, JavaScript these sorts of languages. And I can feel however I want about that, but I can make a decision, I can, as I said, I can either make a conscious, conscious decision to say, I love Rust so much that I'm willing to 
to go into a very niche today marketplace and find a job working in specifically that language because I want to bet my career on that language. Or I can be a, prof a real professional and simply realize that my job is not to learn a specific language, my job is to solve technical problems and that is what I do. So what I want you to take away from this is that C++, apart from just being another programming language and will, it, it will teach you, you know, the different constructs like looping, variables, etc, etc. Apart from that, it doesn't really have any use case for web backend work. I mean, you can absolutely find places where this is used. There are specific companies that will be using this. There are specific organizations that will have older code bases or a very niche use case that will focus on C++ for this sort of work. But primarily it was designed to do system levels development and that is simply not what a backend developer does. You're much better off just picking a language that was designed to do backend work and figure out what is actually popular. And as I said, usually the backend languages are Java, C Sharp, Python, PHP, JavaScript, etc., etc. These are among the main languages, not exclusively, of course, but these languages were designed for this sort of work. They were not designed for the same use case as C++. So you have to you have to be honest with yourself here, dude. Are you trying to shoehorn in C++ into your backend work because you just emotionally like C++ or if it's a good career or because it's a good career choice? Because if you think that's a good career move, I would I would ask you to go and have a reality check on the job postings because I'm pretty sure that your understanding of what the market actually looks like is a little bit off in that in that scenario. But if you just really like it, then fucking indulge that passion. You love C++, I love C++, I think Rust is a little bit nicer, that's why I'm even more excited about that. But it's okay to indulge yourself. Hell, heck, if it's just for fun, like, then just fucking go for it. But don't try to convince yourself that there is one single language out there that you really, really love and, and, then it's, and that it is perfect for every single use case because that is a really quick way for you to niche your career down a path where you might actually get some problems down the line with finding employment. Have a great day.